welcome back to the shipyard. Today we're taking a look at the Dreadnought. This is the actual retail expansion, the one with the model, and not the card pack. The reason I waited so long to actually do this review was because I didn't want to completely trash it. And now that there is a card pack out for this, I can say that all of this is made better by the fact that there's a card pack. So keep that in mind as we go through this. All right. Our original Dreadnought. 6045, 30 points. Evade, target lock, scan on the action bar. Three weapon slots and one tech. No crew. Yeah, don't. No crew around here. You cannot assign a captain or an admiral to this ship. When defending, during the compare results step, you may discard up to two of your upgrades to cancel an equal number of the attacking ship's dice. Eh, there's uh, something there, but burning an upgrade for one cancellation? Like, how about disable an upgrade to do that? Balance. Poor balance here. It does have a 180 forward firing arc, and for six attack dice, that's not bad. Maneuver dial here is, well, it's kind of what you expect for a 180 arc ship. Two, three turns are red, uh, but it does get a five straight, four straight, one, two, three banks. The one banks are green. Uh, it, it's okay. If it had white turns, it would be even better, or even one set of white turns, but alas, it does not. Uh, the generic loses a shield, loses the tech slot, and boy does that hurt, because three weapon slots? Totally unnecessary. <sighs> but, card pack version. So much better on that front. Alright, upgrades. Since there's no captain here. First up, we have maintenance crew. This is a six-point non-unique. This upgrade does not require an upgrade slot. Add one crew upgrade slot to your upgrade bar. During the planning phase, you may discard this card and one of your crew upgrades to repair up to two damage to your ship. No ship can have more than one. Eh, <sighs> really expensive way to get crew. But considering it's one of the only ways to get crew, it's okay. Still, six points. Eesh. Better be a very good crew that you're putting on your ship for six points. The effect to discard it, get two damage back, it's nice, but it's not going to make the difference. Tech. We have countermeasures. Uh, this is a five point non unique. When defending during the roll defense dice step, you may discard this card to roll plus two defense dice. Immediately after that attack is completed, you may then perform a two die attack against the attacking ship. This upgrade costs plus five for anything other than the Cardassian ATR 4017. And no ship can have more than one. Okay, two extra defense dice, yeah, whatever. But then a two die attack back, it's okay, but they get their full defense dice. If they didn't get their full defense dice, that would be worth something. If it was a Gelnon-esque effect, I could see the use of the card. But it's not. It's an actual attack. And two attack dice doesn't do anything. So, yeah, countermeasure's bad. Evasive attack route. This is a five point non unique. When defending, during the modified defense dice step, you may disable this card and discard one of your weapon upgrades to place two evade tokens beside your ship. This card can only be purchased for a Cardassian ATR 4107. <sighs> Yeah, I'll take Ibex Dynasty. If I'm going to pay five points, this needs to, like, cancel the attack. It's evasive attack route. Two extra evade tokens doesn't make all the difference in the world. It doesn't make enough of a difference, so why bother? Kinetic Detonator. This is a four-point non-unique action. Discard this card and one of your weapon upgrades to inflict one damage to all ships within range one, including this ship. Yay. There's a point for this, but it's a tough sell. Mission playable? Sure. OP playable? No, not at all. All right. The weapons. The overpriced weapons. 
Quantum Torpedoes, 6 points, 5 dice, range 2 to 3. Spend your target lock, place 3 time tokens on them. If the target ship is hit, add a hit. If it's fired from a Cardassian ATR 4107, add an additional hit. Oh, and you can fire from your forward or rear firing arcs, except the ATR doesn't have a rear firing arc, so there goes that. Card pack quantums are significantly better. Still not great, but better. Playable. Mildly. These, no. Matter, antimatter, warhead. Seven point unique. Ugh. Seven attack dice, range three only. Spend your target lock. Discard this card. If the attack hits, place an ox power token beside all ships within range one of the defending ship. You may only fire this weapon from your forward firing arc. The one saving grace, and, and I emphasize the one, is that you can buy this for anything you want. The really, really bad part is that it is range three only. So you better have a means of making an extra maneuver to get yourself in range three it's tough that's a tough weapon to make work plasma wave uh, non-unique five points three dice range one i'm not liking this discard this card you may fire this weapon at every ship within range one of your ship and this upgrade can only be purchased for a cardassian atr 4107 uh, okay uh, three dice at everything at range one uh, it's usable I still think the card pack version is better because I believe, and this is off of memory, not actually referencing it, that it only targets enemy ships, which is what it should do, and uh, that's a big positive. Much improved there. The last card in this pack is the Thoron Shock Emitter. Uh, five cost, five dice, range one to three. Attack, spend your target lock, discard the card. You may select any number of your attack dice and re-roll them. And you can only purchase this for an ATR-4107. So you've got to take a target lock, throw one less die. But then you get quality. So that's something. But you're paying five points, so it's total garbage. They fixed this in the card pack. Alright, overall. And I, I am skipping this because I don't want to talk about this ship any more than I need to. Uh, the ship is a nice idea but no captain kills it. Even the generic at six dice, eight durability, 28 points is just a little too much. 180, great, but give me Keldons any day because then I get to put captains on them and I can kill a Dreadnought before it gets to fire. And that makes all the difference in the world. Now, the new card pack Dreadnought that's a whole different story, and, and, and that's fine. But this one as it stands, not worth it. The upgrades here are trash. And there's a reason so many of them had to be redone, which is good. It, it, it's good that they redid it. it. It was necessary. The best I can say is that this is a pack that gets you a model that lets you run the card pack, but even that's dicey at best. I think you can buy that card pack for the independent cards, and, and you're good. You don't even need the Dominion side of it. So if you really want, avoid this thing altogether, and you're fine. Uh, on that note, I'm going to call it a day, and uh, say thank you guys for watching. We'll see you around the shipyard. Take care.